And hello to everybody, it is me again, Lou, and welcome back to the Palm Rock and Roll stream today without Roll, unfortunately. He's not feeling all too well, so here's some good wishes to the, to the guy. I am joined, however, by Mike, as always. I am always here. Always here, knowing, understanding, comprehending. Always. 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 So, yeah. Just getting my updates up. Yeah. There we go. Let's dive right into it. You goddamn right there, Lou boy. Yeah, boy. Buddy boy. So how you doing, mate? I don't know if you've heard this before, but I am, in, in fact, fact, awake. Are you now? I am. I am, in is, fact, is, awake. Is that based on factual evidence? Uh, I don't know. It might be fake news. You can never tell these days. Yeah. Totally. Oh, right. The now fake. The fakest of news. I try and fake my news all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's better than faking orgasms, so... Car crash at my local intersection! But there's traffic going by. I'm telling you, there's a car crash. <laughs> you, just, you just can't see it. I More feel like there's a car crash. And feelings are more important than facts, am I right? My fee-fees. Your, your fee-fees. Your precious, precious fee-fees. Back to you, Juanita. <laughs> Takes Juan to know Juan. That's a terrible joke. Was, was that racist? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Good. <laughs> to me, whenever racism implies some kind of hatred behind it, but if you're just like making a silly joke, then who cares? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm totally with you on that. It, it's it's about the malicious intent. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say a really horrible joke, but I couldn't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say a, a, a terrible joke, but I um, I caught myself, or I stopped myself. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> My brain just went. Well, I couldn't think of one, so it just it wouldn't matter. But like, I definitely would have stopped myself. Be like, you know what? The world doesn't need to hear that. <laughs> probably because <laughs> probably because they've well, already fine heard. without it. Yeah, that too. Yeah. And Gio wants to hang out after the streamy stream, but he's too busy to hang out during the streamy stream. So, <sighs> Jesus, get on that shit, Gio. We need you. Well, we want computer. you. He's got his computer fix, so. Yeah, so he's got no more, um, he's got no more excuses. Sure he does. There's a problem walking around his house. Oh, right. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not every day. That's the problem. <laughs> We've been streaming earlier than we used to, so, I mean, he definitely could probably get in yeah. here every once in a while. Absolutely. Actually, I think we might be a little late today. I don't know. I didn't see the time before we started streaming. We are ever so slightly late, but not not nothing out of the ordinary, you know. But we, I mean you. I'm never late. Oh yeah, obviously. I've never been late a day in my life. In fact, I was born early. I can't. I mean, you're never late, but sometimes you don't show up at all. Oh well, I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. At least I usually get like a warning, like, "Dude, dude, I haven't slept in like a month." So, yeah. I'm gonna make it to the stream, though. I'll make it. I'll make it. And then you don't. Listen, it's not my fault there was a car accident outside my house. <laughs> I felt it. Deep inside my soul. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, maybe it happened while I was sleeping. I don't know. All I know is I was emotionally disturbed enough where I couldn't... I couldn't bring myself to stream. <laughs> yeah. That's alright. Can you fault the guy Emotions, for that? I don't man. think so. Emotions, man, they be important. Mm hmm. No one or plays so with my fifis. Like... 
Uh, right. What, what, what I was saying before. Okay. What I was saying before was uh, the stream. Uh, I I started a quick Duke Nukem 3D Let's Play because that game is pretty damn good. Oh yeah, right. And I, I made the the startling realization that I probably have played that game more than I have of the original Dooms because I just never had access to the uh, the Doom games really. All right. My neighbor had. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D on his computer, and Geo... What did he have? His dad had Wolfenstein and Blakestone. And they mm -hmm. were in Pennsylvania, so... No one I knew really had Doom. <laughs> right. It's just a weird thing to realize, because I... I always thought, uh... I don't know, I, I think back... Whenever I think about Doom, I always think about it, like, fondly. I'm like, yeah, good times. The limited yeah. times I had access to it. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, ha having played Doom is kind of like a requirement. I made my friend play it. For any serious gamer. I absolutely made my friend play it. I was like, it's like, you've played Doom, right? He's like, no, not a single level. I'm like, I'm, you I, you're going to play this right now or we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because, because uh, I think you mentioned one day that, that you don't enjoy Doom all that much. No, that was Doom 2. I, uh... Oh, I right. Never, I... That was a game that I never, ever, ever played, uh, except a little bit on the Game Boy Advance, and I didn't have it for too long. Um... Mm -hmm. So, I booted that up recently, because I was like, maybe I'll do a little Let's Play on this, since I did the uh, other episodes of Doom. I didn't do the final episode, because fuck that one. I heard it was really bad. Um... Mm. And Doom 2 has some really, really bad level design on some of the levels. Yeah, I agree. And on some, on some of the levels, it's a bit too labyrinthian for, uh, for its own good. Yeah, like one's trying to mimic a city, and it's really, really big, and there's like teleporters that go on top of the buildings, inside of the building. Mm. I'm, like, I'm like, okay, I have no like previous memory of this, so like, just speaking straight up from that. It's... it's a little janky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, so, some of the Doom 2 levels are way too big. Yeah, they were definitely realizing that they had more uh, space to work with, considering mm -hmm. computers had to have advanced quite a bit in that time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it definitely did not help levels, some of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I hear you. I still enjoy Doom 2, I mean, I mean it's the only uh, it's the only one I've got on my Game Boy, so. Well, it's not a, it I guess it's not a bad one. Me. It ain't a bad one, it's just... No. I'm not, I wasn't enjoying it too much the first time through, so maybe I'll uh, enjoy a little bit more the next time. Yeah. But I think I kind of crossed out any plan of doing a Let's Play on it, because that's, uh, that's a thing. That is a hard mm -hmm. thing to navigate. Oh, yeah. Because as I mentioned, I tried to do one on Turok, and... Well, don't do that blind, because... Fucking hell, I... <laughs> I think the first mission would have been four episodes, because I was like, where the fuck am I going? Oh, yeah, the first mission is... Like, if you thought the first mission was bad, uh, try the fourth one. I gotta get back on uh, dicking around with that game. The fourth one is basically all underground tunnels. Oh, Christ. Yep. It's, it's the lair of the blind ones, and it's about as bad as it sounds. Now, I'm wondering like, if it's it, as bad as uh, Dark Forces. Alright. Have you ever played that game? I don't think so, no. Dark Forces starts out really strong, and then you hit a sewer level, and it's fucking labyrinthian, and... You need what, a, a sewer level? Oh god, I hate those. It's a it's a sci-fi uh, sewer level, so there's like drones in there and little monsters. I mean, I remember as a kid being scared of it, and I only like a few years ago replayed it, and I found find out why I was scared of it. Cause um, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember which movie it was in. Whatever. There's like mm. these little eyeballs on stalks that come out of the uh, out of the water, and it just 
even now, I was like, what the fuck was that? Okay, getting the gun out, getting the big gun out. Mm-hmm. I think they pop oh. out of the water and bite your face, who the fuck knows? All I know is... Oh. Don't I, like I water. I thought you were mechanical or something. Nope. Jeez. That's but there awesome. are also uh, the little drones from Empire Strikes Back. You know, the ones that go... Bam, 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 bam. I think, yeah. The ones that... Don't recall too much of the movie. Gaius! Or of any Star Wars movies. And you call yourself a... No, you don't, you don't call yourself a movie watcher. No. <laughs> but you still watch more movies than me. Hmm. That says something. As if that's much of an achievement. Achievement unlocked. Watch, movie. <laughs> watch more movies than Mike. That's not Requirements, hard. watch one movie. <laughs> I did watch one recently. I watched Life. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, that science fiction movie, right? Yeah. How'd you like it? It was good. I just kind of had one problem with it, and that was I called a couple things that happened from like a mile away. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, this is what's gonna happen. Oh, so it's pretty tropey then? Um... I don't know. I want to say no, but... Um... <laughs> No, he hear me out. And I'm not trying to brag here. It's just I've been told that I'm really good at calling out movies. And I'm not, like, sitting there, like, psychoanalyzing these. Like, usually I'm drawing during the movie or game. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, so this is what's going to happen. Like, Bioshock Infinite. I don't know if that was oh, an yeah, easy yeah. call or whatever. I was just like, oh, so this is what's going to happen. And Yeah, Bioshock Infinite is a really easy call. Also, it's a call that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But, you know. Maybe that's why people say I'm quote, good at it, but I just was like, I don't know, I kind of saw it coming from a mile away. I mean, maybe it's just my vast knowledge of Star Trek The Next Generation. My vast knowledge. Uh, welcome to the stream, Operation You Gods. You Gods. Howdy. It's a funky name to spell, I'm gonna say that much. <laughs> also, sorry if I butchered it, but you know. You butcher everything. Yeah. You like Especially the butcher German from... language. Ach! Ach, mein Lieben! <laughs> anyway, uh, life. Oh, right. And uh, your uncanny ability to call shit. Quite, quite a good movie. Um, wasn't scary. I thought it would have been a little scary, but maybe that's just because uh, I'm desensitized to violence in movies and stuff. So like, when I see like someone have something really horrible happen to him, I'm just kind of like, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I'm kind of more horrified by the one scene in Aliens where Bishop has to crawl through a pipe that's barely uh, enough to fit him inside of it, and I just go, Oh, God! Uh, I'm looking away! I can't do it! <laughs> yeah, because it's tense as fuck. I, I'm claustrophobic. I'm straight up claustrophobic. <laughs> so, oh, dear. I just can't do it. Hey, Sunset. Just popping up, in for, for a bit. Are you... Do you mean to tell us that you have obligations other than us? I don't believe you. Do you mean that, you, that you've got better shit to do? How dare you, mate? How can you have <laughs> something better to do than hang out with a bunch of fucking morons on a fucking <laughs> Thursday? <laughs> Wait, a, a game coming out on Steam in 30 minutes? Which one? Do tell. I I am interested in hearing which game this is because I don't know of any good games that are coming out recently, unless it's Final yeah. Fantasy XV. Then uh, them's fighting herds. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm looking Wait, this up because you got, just, yeah, you got me confused. <laughs> Come on, Steam, hurry up. Them's fighting herds. That sounds intriguing. Shouldn't you be what playing? The fuck is this? Shouldn't you be playing XCOM? By the way, God. Oh, I've heard of this! I have heard of this. Isn't this a, uh, a fighting game by the makers of My Little Pony? Oh my god, this is actually coming out? Like, and it's like a real, real game? Yeah, this... Yeah! From, from what I understood, they were making a My Little Pony fighting game, and the company who owns the rights was like... <laughs> they kind of like said, don't... You can, look, you can make a spin-off, just as long as it's not obvious. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it, it's still obvious, but... Yeah. 
<laughs> wait, this wait, 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 cool. Scroll down. Special offer, Blaz Blue. This Blaz Blue versions of Car- Hold on. I- Wait. <laughs> I don't what? want to say what I'm reading. Wait. Skullgirls and Guilty Gear? What? Exclusive cosmetics. Okay, so they're- Yeah, there's cosmetics for your pony characters for the other games. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, the animations look really slick, and the art style is spot on, so... Oh, god. Well, I mean... That's so crazy that they got all the cosmetics from, like, other popular fighting games. <laughs> now, they just, now they just need Dragon Ball in there, and... and yeah. Yeah. I Also, I love the design of the alpaca character. It looks fucking great. I'll have to look uh, real quick again. <laughs> That is so cool! <laughs> hey, whatever works. Yeah. Now they just need to get the uh, voice actor from uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, Q, in there. Because <laughs> apparently... I, ha I had to look it up, because I was like, wait, what? Because they put him in My Little Pony, and he just acts like the character from Star Trek The Next Generation. And if you're wondering what that is, it is a smug, omnipotent, godlike alien. Yeah. So, can do some really horrible things, and that's about the that's the only fifteen minutes I have seen of My Little Pony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, like, it, without trying to sound like a brony or anything, but this uh, this actually looks kind of cool. Hey, sign up however you want. I <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I don't care what someone likes. Yeah. I don't know why that yes. bothers some people. It's like, you like this? Who cares? Unless it, becomes what are like you that, think? unless it becomes that thing where they're just like, they don't stop bringing up, like, oh man, I'm going to the convention, I'm going to this, I'm going to that, I just got my, uh -huh. you know, I got my costume. Because I knew someone like that. It drove me mad. Hmm. <laughs> you like this? What are you, gay? <laughs> Ye. Ye. So what if I am, boy? That's from Dragon Peebles, I think. <laughs> what are you? Know. Gay? Ye. Ye. Well, <laughs> kick a Krabby Patty. <laughs> You've got like five minutes before Nem explodes, so go on. Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Armello. Uh, uh, I, I actually got I my. I got my friend a copy of Armello, a physical copy, because uh, on uh, what was it, Indie Box? They had a uh, they had that on there, and yeah, I got Wait, it. Wasn't Armello this uh, board game like type thing? I really don't know what it was. I just know my friend had it on his wish list. I was like, hey, I accidentally got this. Do you want it? <laughs> so I mailed it to him. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. See, I I just wanted the Indie Box for Freedom Planet. You know, which I already yeah. owned a copy of, but then, like, And I, I got so much random shit with it. Well, I found out that the... Oh, the, the stuff that came with Freedom Planet was... I don't know. It was... It was pretty good. I was hoping for something else, but they, they definitely still hit me the, uh, where it counted in, in, in a good spot. But Armello oh, came, yeah. like, the next week, or next month, and I was like, yeah. oh, shit. I'm like, I didn't know it was subscription-based. <laughs> I had to, find, I had to find something to do with it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, right? Yeah, Armello is that board game thingy. I, I know Total Biscuit and crew talked about this quite a lot, and it's apparently really, really good. Wait, is it furries? I don't know what fucking counts as a furry. Never mind. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do you if yes or no? If yes, you're a fucking furry. You know what I mean? I guess that's a way to... Uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> well, judging by the CSI episode I saw, that pretty much encompassed <laughs> a bunch of things. I, I don't think you want to know. No. Do you know Joe Rogan? Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, is, he... Isn't that, is that the ball, dude? Yes, with the giant man paws he calls hands. <laughs> like, whenever yeah, he's doing... Him? Whenever he's doing UFC interviews and he's holding out the microphone, his fist is like <laughs> so fucking huge. You're like, dude, what the hell? Um, 
he accidentally went to a, uh, how do I put it this way? I'm just gonna say it as awkward as possible. He accidentally went to uh, a furry convention. <laughs> and you're like, how- I mean, accidentally go to a furry convention? How does that even work? Why, I'm glad you asked, Lou. Apparently, oh, uh, he booked a, it wasn't the con itself. He, he went to the hotel that had a furry convention going on. So, mm -hmm. he, he booked a hotel, like, months in advance, because I don't know what it was about, but he was doing something at a place. <laughs> so, he's, you know, as they're driving around, you know, to the, the hotel, he's, like, seeing these people walking around in costumes, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and then, you get to the hotel, and it's even worse, he's like, he's like, oh, this is interesting, and he's, he's very open-minded, so he's like, he had apparently no problem just talking to these people, like, you know, hey, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, these people, they- Yeah, let's check this out. They bought out the hotel, uh, like, all the rooms except for his, because <laughs> he, he beat, wait, beat him wait. to it. Wait, wasn't that rain first? No, 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 this is just oh, like- Oh, thank god. I think this is just- <laughs> No, if it-, it my, Look, it could have been for all I know, but I'm just gonna say no, because it, it seems highly unlikely the two would cross over. So- That would have been amazing, though, holy shit. So he's like- yeah, it's weird, but I mean, the, the people were nice enough. Uh, he's like, the weirdest thing I saw was like, some people were ordering their food in bowls and had it served to him on the floor. But, he's like, eh, whatever. Sure, whatever floats your boat, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, look, whatever. God damn it. Oh, uh, first confused me so much, it's so weird. No but, offense, Sunset. Listen, I could, uh... I can definitely see the so appeal of having 90% of your food served in a bowl, because, let's just be honest here, it's easy and it's lazy. I mean, yeah, I, I also like cereal. Oh, dude, I mean, like, I put, like, my... And chili. I put my beef and broccoli in there, like, anything I can. Bowls are great. Yeah, what up, Pink Cheese? <laughs> I'll never get tired of saying that name. Welcome to the stream. You are terrible. And demonetized. Pew! Oh. Well, I was already demonetized uh, on the 20th. I, was, I wasn't ever- I wasn't even monetized to begin with, so, yeah. I'm actually not even planning to, because it's not worth it. Well, it would be pretty hard to get it going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially these days. I think I made 60 Thanks, cents- Thanks, YouTube. I think I made 60 cents in my entire YouTube career. <laughs> Now here's the problem with making 60 cents on your, uh, in your YouTube career. You have to make at least $100 so you can cash out, so... That's yep. 6 cents I will never, ever, ever, ever see. Damn you, <laughs> Google! Damn you, Tell! <laughs> Bastards. I'll have you know I, I could I did make my first... rum packet. Go on. Yeah, I did make- I did make my first 10 bucks on Comic Chameleon. Gaius! This- this year, so... yay. Uh, was, it, was that cumulative uh, or? Um, what do you mean cumulative? Uh, because I know you said you were posting there for a while. So like, is it because of that or was it like? Uh, oh, no, I'm st I'm still posting there. Okay, so like, it was, was it recent? Like that? Like, I I don't know. Like, did you get it recently or was it it built up over a while? No, it built up over a while. I joined in July 2014. Um, each um, each webcomic artist gets uh, gets a share of um, of ad revenue based on uh, page views and stuff, like percentage based. And I hit ten bucks in exactly September last year. Huh? So yay! You did a thing. I did the thing! Hell yeah, Indeed. boss music! Yeah, yeah that's, that's more money than I'll probably ever get through YouTube. So, yeah. Listen, I made six cents. I think we know where the money is at. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Also, you, 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 can, you can buy me a coffee on ko-fi.com slash P-U-M comic. Just saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Lou, I bought you shit already, and you didn't fucking play it, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I did play it, just not, just not much. You're so shitty. I know. But don't, don't you have that? like those uh, those comfort games that you keep falling back on if you if you're like I, I want to play something, but I don't want to 
think about what and stuff and just play something. No, no, Lou, I do not have a comfort game. I don't have anything like Freedom Planet, Sonic Mania, Sonic 3, <laughs> Doom, fucking Duke Nukem 3D, Doom 1. I don't have anything like that. You are alone in this fucking universe. <laughs> so next time you think that, you know, I'm like you in any way, you fucking weirdo European, just remember, no. In any way, shape, or form. You're a goddamn alien. You're a mutant. You're a mutant alien. <laughs> you and your moon speak. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Resident Evil 2 is a great comfort game as well, yeah. It's... For me, it's and it's Dark Souls 1 and 3. Fuck Dark Souls 2. And to some extent, Resident Evil 4. I just... I was about to say recently, but it was, you know, probably like six months ago. Did a Let's Play of uh, Resident Evil 2 with Geo. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I actually watched that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was a Dinosaur. thing. Speaking of, speaking of things, of, of games and of shit, um, I tried out, and bear with me here, I tried out uh, Breath of the Wild yesterday. <gasps> Gaius! Do tell. I, 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 was, I was lying on the couch and I figured, you know, I I, I, I kind of want to play a game, but I'm too lazy to stand up and uh, turn on my PC to play on my uh, 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 to play on my Steam Link. So eh, let's let's fire up Breath of the Wild. Now, see, I fucking hate its control scheme. There, there's something. I despise you, it. There's something you and I will never see eye to eye in. I I cannot understand laziness. It drives me insane. So, yeah, I know. There you go. There's the one thing I will say. Like, <laughs> too lazy to get up and get, you know, turn the TV on. Fuck no! I'm gonna hop right up and do it for someone. Do it for someone else. When they're sitting there going like, "Oh man, I'm just too lazy to get up." I'm like, "Up, oh, I'll do it for you." <laughs> yeah, the control scheme. I haven't played in a while. I remember it confusing me because uh, I was also playing Horizon Zero Dawn, so mm. try going between two similar style games like that. Look, here's the thing. Whoever thought that. Putting, um, putting the run button and the jump button on top of each other was okay. Should be sh should be shot in the streets. I swear to God. Is that what it is? Yeah, like it's, I'm just demonstrating on my uh, Xbox controller here. A is run, and Y is jump for some reason. They're on top of each other, and I hate oh, I oh, fucking really? hate that. Okay, I thought you meant. So if, um, if I want to run and and then jump like a running jump, I, I can't fucking do it because it's. Eh. I thought you meant uh, like how Mass Effect two and three did it, which was infuriating. Um, oh. Run, cover, and use were all the same button. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yes, that is that is the worst. Yeah, it's not a it's not ideal. Let's just uh, say that. Yeah. Uh, also, I am so used to uh, to running uh, in, in Dark Souls 3, which is, uh, or in Dark Souls in general, which is on B. And I can't for the life of me remember what B does in Legend of Zelda. I just keep hitting, hitting the button all the fucking time, and I'm like, why, why aren't I running? Oh, right, wrong game. I don't remember what that... This is so... This is so fucking ingrained into my brain at this point. Like, B is running, B is running, B is running. No, it's not. God damn it. Yeah, I've definitely had that with uh, certain games. Uh, I mm. can't say which one recently, besides Horizon Zelda. I gotta get back on Horizon. Geo and mm. I are kind of co oping that game, you know, we switch off. Uh, oh. But it's nice. just. It's a little hard to get into because sometimes, like, you're just so burnt out, you're like. You're like, okay, we can either try and remember how to play this game and get back into it. Exactly. Or, we can put on or play a game that we all are used to. That's, that, that's the point of comfort games. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a shame because that game I was actually enjoying. It's like the mm. first open world game. I'm like, man, I'm actually enjoying the story to this. It's like, it's kind yeah. of intriguing. Because Zelda, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care. I'm never finishing that game. I'm gonna play it till it burns. Till I burn myself out of it and just go like, okay, that was fun. Yeah, I, I'm also not sure if I'm ever gonna play much of, uh, of that game as well. Like, I, I, if I'm being totally honest, it did not deserve the hype. 
It depends because on I, what here's, you're. Here's into. the thing. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I I, I I I'm already I'm only. Uh, let me think. Maybe one or two hours in, and already I feel like I'm working towards nothing. Like nothing I do has any weight. I don't feel. I don't find anything significant because after the first couple of uh, after the first couple of dungeons, you already have all of your items that you need to progress. And after that, it's like, well, find random shit and craft stuff because that's all the game is. And I'm already burned out on that. Yeah, unless you like two exploring. hours in. Yeah, unless you like exploring a whole lot, because uh, that's where a lot of the meat of Skyrim came out. I uh, came from. Oh yeah, yeah. just. You know, walk around, find people, find new things. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, yeah, uh, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I love exploring as long as my exploration gets rewarded somehow, like with meaningful uh, content and, and uh, all of that good stuff. You know. I suppose. Uh, I suppose, but yeah, like Skyward Sword has nothing on offer that. that uh, God damn it! Not, not Skyward Sword. Um, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild has nothing that's that's to me like yeah you gotta you gotta keep on playing because who knows what who knows what's waiting for you out there I know what's waiting for me out there pointless shit <laughs> and this game and it's pissing me it's pissing me off so much because I don't know I feel like this game is wasting my time already so eh I don't get it. Yeah, maybe just I really wrap it up and sell it then. I mean, no reason to stick around if uh, you ain't digging it. Yeah, I don't know. I could tell you of a good game that I just uh, enjoyed thoroughly. I just beat mm-hmm. Wonder Boy 3 in the Dragon's Trap. Quite good, Ooh. quite good. Yeah. Uh, it definitely has its retro bullshittery, like invisible fucking doors. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you couldn't possibly find unless you knew that they were there or... I guess if you just have predictable skills like me, where you're just like, I know what, where, what, what's going on here, and because I found several of the, the hidden doors, it was like, oh man, I don't know. It, I'm so good. No, I'm not bragging like that. <laughs> it's just, um, oh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cringe when it's like this. Gamer instinct. God damn it. Boo. Yeah, it's 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 like that. You just kind of like you're like okay, it's it's obviously there's a door around here because they don't just have a uh, a dead end for no reason. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That I totally understand. I, I'm also like that. And I'm happy that they actually did improve the game in slight ways. Like I I, I would switch back to the old graphics and new graphics. I found mm-hmm. one area that like it's completely blank in the old version. Then I tapped the uh, new version's graphics and. Uh, mm-hmm. There's like a broken nurse's shop uh, 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 sign that's hanging from like a wall. I'm like, there's totally a hidden door here. Open up a door, and then she's like, who'd have thunk that a nurse would open up a shop here? I'm like, you bitch. Heal me. <laughs> you bitch. Heal me. Yeah. But I got you, yeah, yeah. Sunset seemed to like it, so goddamn right. Yeah. There we go. I had no idea that game existed until you brought it up. Well, to be fair, it's a fucking Master System game originally, and who the hell yeah. had a Master System? <laughs> Sunset, apparently. Unless you were in certain countries, uh, Europe and Bra- uh, Brazil, South America, or whatever, yet you mm. likely didn't have a Master System. Yeah. Exactly. Why wouldn't you play as Wonder Girl? Mm-hmm. Why? Jeez, why the fuck wonders. wouldn't you, dude? There's, uh, there was a little secret on the, uh, uh, on the title screen where if you, you know, you got you know start game options or whatever. If yeah, you yeah. Just go up. Uh, if you hit up once and then you hit a uh, A, you can change the title screen to Wonder Girl. <laughs> and, it, and it changes the changes the character on on the homepage. I'm like, fuck me, this is awesome. Yeah, it's sneaky, but it's awesome. Cheeky breaky. Cheeky breaky. Sneaky breaky. Just not the same yeah. that really. We don't have ten minutes of uh, waifu talk. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, I know. It's kind of focused and shit. Hold on, let me emulate him for a minute. No! 
<laughs> no! His plausible de deniability. No! <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hope it gets better soon. Sunset, by the way, did you do the challenge maps, the hidden challenge maps that get you stones? Because uh, I found two of them. They were quite frustrating, and I didn't bother doing the rest of them. Because I don't know what the fuck that they... I don't know what they did. <laughs> I got this idea for a comic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got, this, I got this idea for a comic, so let me get into detail how the politics of this world work and not explain anything else for the next three hours. <laughs> ah. Okay, you never, you never beat them. Never okay. beat them. Well, there you go. Yeah, I know you don't have to do them. I just found two of them, and then I, I found out how goddamn taxing they were. It's it's one of those things where uh, you go through an area, and there's a bunch of monsters. If you get hit, mm -hmm. and you fall off, it drops you back down to the area with those monsters, and you gotta run through them again. <sighs> Sounds like Dark Souls. E <laughs> it's the Dark Souls of platformers. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Dark Souls of retro platformers. <laughs> uh, I'm interested no, in hearing no, what, I mean. they, what, they, what it gives you, so... Just let it rip. I mean, what are you going to do? Spoil a, a platformer that has no story whatsoever? <laughs> oh games. my god, the mouse one was fucking something else. <laughs> do tell. You... Okay, you go through a whole bunch of these annoying uh, fireball enemies that kind of bounce around like homing balloons, and then there are oh, these God, clouds that float above you. Yeah, yeah. Th then there's these clouds that are above you, Spitfire, and oh my God! So it's all that shit. Then once you go, you you walk up a wall because he can walk up certain walls. Uh, then you have to do a jumping uh, area where it's like six single blocks floating in the air then you have to mm -hmm. jump to a ceiling and it's you'll, you'll just barely make that jump and then from there mm -hmm. you gotta jump off of that onto a single block that's also a spring onto another spring onto a wall and the whole time there's enemies that are just put there to just be like <laughs> and I, oh my god yeah so every time you fail you have to go through all the monsters that were on the floor before but Again, it's all optional, so it doesn't really matter if you don't want to do it. Yeah, so fuck off. I'm not gonna do that. Exactly, I'm not doing it. I enjoyed the game, and I'll probably go through it again sometime. Yeah, but see, they already knew that it was bullshit, so they made it... Thank God they made that optional. Yeah, a I lot guess. of the stuff is optional. I mean, uh, someone was complaining in their review that... Uh, they're like, I really wish there was a way to change between all the different forms that you get in the game without having to go to these specific rooms that are in certain areas. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I found it. It's called the Tasmanian Sword. You just jump and hit attack, and you change forms in the air. It, huh. So, it's it's hidden, but if but I never there. played the fucking game and found it, then what the hell is your excuse? <laughs> I'm a games reviewer, so... <laughs> <laughs> What's your excuse? Well, I'm a games reviewer. Oh, I'm oh. sorry to hear that. <laughs> that explains it all. Fucking hell, that is funnier <laughs> than it should be. Yeah. Right now, there's someone, <laughs> at, there's someone at Kotaku going, Ouch! Ow! And they don't even know why, and they're like, like, it's like, Dave, what, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know, I just feel like... The sudden sting. I just feel like, I just feel like I got served. <laughs> the sudden burning sensation. Ah, oh. fucking ouch. <laughs> they need a special cream. Those, those silly ass reviewers. <laughs> I got a little bit of anal cream for that asshole. You need some Bengay. <laughs> Mix of frogs, gay. <laughs> It's in the name, so it must be true. Yeah, the final boss wasn't at all hard. You just kind of like 
jump to the side. Like, I was tanking some shots, and I was like, well, this is hard. Right. I, I think I even got all the hearts, too. I, I am not a person who mm. usually does this shit. Like, I don't care about 100%. Like, it's people who are like, oh, man, I gotta get that platinum trophy, or otherwise I'm just not a gamer. Like, <laughs> I, I don't care Fuck about... that. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Like, the game... What a game to me is, it's it's fun. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I enjoy a challenge if it's there, but if it's just, like, fucking bullshit... Oh, yeah, absolutely. That game is just so full of charm. You could tell that the developers had a lot of fun with it. Oh, yeah. That's that's always nice to see. When you get the, uh, the mouse form... Okay, th there's a church where you normally got your passwords from. Uh, but the mm -hmm. church in this game is useless unless... Unless you still have your original master system passwords, then you can put them in, and the guy will be able to jump you ahead based on your master system passwords. How fucking really? cool is that? Yes, dead serious. That is awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> so if you uh, if you go in there after you get the mouse form and you were just a dragon, and you go in there, mm -hmm. he's like, "Hey, uh, have you seen that tall, drag, ugly dragon guy?" I'm like, "Oh, you bastard." <laughs> Every time you get a new form and come back to him, he has something to say about uh, the last guy who was there. That is so cool. I wonder if that was in the original. No. The original just had a... Uh, it had the same pig, but it just said, uh, shopping please, right under it. Oh. Right, right under the, uh, his uh, avatar. Gotcha. I'm not, I'm not sure how faithful this game is to the original. I know the level layout is identical, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I know that they do one thing that I'm super thankful for. They tell you what the items do. So, like... Oh, thank God. You know what their stats are, and if they have a special little uh, ability, it'll say special. So you're like, okay, this does something, and it should be easy to uh, figure it out. Like, the, yeah. Tas the Tasmanian sword, the description says, it has... It's said to have animal spirits inside. I'm like, oh, so it changes my forms. Thank God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty faithful. All right. Is the difficulty as hard, uh, or as easy, uh, or is the original like bullshit hard? Because I remember seeing uh, Gabe from Zero Punct uh, Yahtzee's friend Gabe from Zero Punctuation play, and he was having a really hard time with the game. Hmm. Um, the last thing I'll gush about is uh, since I got the physical version, the Switch cartridge. Is uh, it looks like a Master System cartridge. It's just it's just red <laughs> with a uh, black grid. I'm like, like you bastards, you did it. <laughs> you fucking went all the way. The madman. Oh, it was harder. <laughs> it was fucking harder. Goddamn. All right. Damn. I'll keep that in mind. I think there was. I a mean, hard it probably was. Game. It was a Master System game. So old school games used to be hard for the sake of it. Especially if you got the American slash Western Western versions, because uh, they were trying to combat the uh, the rental system pretty fucking hard. Mm. Streets of Rage three was harder. Uh, Contra Hardcore was harder. Uh, I mean, it says hardcore on it, so. Well, there's a difference between making it hard and just saying "fuck you," because uh, in the <laughs> Japanese version, the Japanese version you got three hits. American version one. What? Yep, and uh -huh. I think you had less lives and continues. And yet, somehow, some people finished that game. I I have no idea how. Because <laughs> my god, that game... I, I tried playing it, I'm not a huge Contra fan, but... Jeez, my god, my ass still hurts and I played it months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself, to this? Well, I was interested. Everyone was like, oh man, this Contra game's great. I'm like, okay. And then I load up the Japanese version, I'm like, you bastards. Because <laughs> it's a myth. Everyone says that the Japanese versions of the games are harder. It's rarely the fucking case. That is so interesting. Streets of Rage 3, you take, like, triple the damage in the game compared to the <laughs> Japanese release. Gio and I put on the hardest fucking mode in... We put the Japanese one on the hardest mode and play through it and get pretty damn far without uh, losing continue. The American mm -hmm. version? Holy shit, is it much harder. A normal! Normal mode! <laughs> oh my god. My ass is still bleeding from that. 
Did that game ever come, uh, come out on arcades, by the way? Streets of Rage now. No, alright. Uh, there might have been a arcade version of a console version, because they did it with Sonic, which I don't know how they would... I don't know if they did or how they would do that. Like, I tried the arcade version of Sonic. It was just they removed the lives and uh, the actual lives that were laying around and put rings in there. Mm. I don't think you got an extra life for getting 100 rings. Damn. That's cold. But, uh, it was, it was in the arcades, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Welcome back, Sensei. One set. Oh my Welcome god, back, I can Mike. Talk. So yeah, Wonder Boy gets my, uh, gets a good solid recommendation. Neat! Very, very neat. Sorry to hear that, uh, uh, Zelda wasn't really up your alley, but hey. I mean, open world games rarely are these days. I'm just so tired of its bullshit. I think Horizon would interest you because, like, I don't know, each monster really feels like a, a, a challenge to take down, so... Cause, like, you can, like, yeah. blow off their the guns on, on their sides or whatever. Uh, or, like, take up parts of their armor and, like, each arrow you build can do specific things. So, like, you can have one that'll, uh, detonate and blow off their armor, or one that pierces mm -hmm. armor or lights it on fire or freezes it. You can, you can shoot ones that'll strap yeah. the, the thing down. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, Cell also got that. I mean, like, with, um, with specific arrow types and all of that nonsense, but... I don't know, there's just something about that game that pisses me off so very much. Well, Horizon strictly revolves around arrows and bows and stuff. There's no... you don't get, like, a melee weapon upgrade. Mm. The only melee weapon upgrade you get is if you buy... Uh, using your experience, you can upgrade your ability to handle the melee weapon better. Yeah. But it's all about shooting things with arrows for the most part. But I get what you mean with Zelda. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure someone on, someone's gonna watch this one day and just be like, they don't know what they're talking about. So what? I I know what I like, and I definitely did not in, do not enjoy Zelda up to this point. Also, people. I I much I much prefer the more. Uh, and and I know this 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 sounds weird. Especially uh, consider, uh, considering how Zelda is usually structured, but I, I, I much prefer the more linear Zelda tiles. I agree. Twilight Princess was uh, my favorite of the bunch, but yeah, Twilight Princess was great. I I love, I absolutely adore uh, Wind Waker. I wanted to like that more, but I just don't like the ocean, so it that really dampens my ability to enjoy like water, ocean. It stuff drives me nuts. Yeah, 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 and for some reason, I, I know this sounds a bit contra uh, contradictive, but uh, for some reason, I enjoy the, the ocean a whole lot. Like sailing around, it's got, it's got I, I, I don't know. I, I felt it was really, really chill to do. Relaxing. Well, I think the difference is that's put between the dungeons and stuff, while mm. uh, Breath of the Wild is just the open world. There are no like, yeah. real dungeons. There's like the challenge things, but. That's a, yeah, that's that's what I miss most about uh, Zelda in uh, Breath of the Wild. Proper fucking dungeons. There are none. I guess the Guardians are proper dungeons, technically? Yeah. yeah I don't know. No. Not, I don't uh, know. not really. I mean, they pose as dungeons, but they... I don't fucking know. It's so frustrating because I, wa I want to love that game. Same with uh, Skyward Sword, but it won't let me. Skyward Sword, oh god. I... I have so many problems with that game. Hmm. I, I gotta actually. Go on. Not no no. I, I I just wanted to say the least of which being five, but that's that's the biggest lie I ever uttered on this channel. Fuck five. I I don't know what it is. Like one thing that really bothers me is part of the art style. Like I think Link looks really really weird. Looks weird. Like he's got botched plastic surgery and yeah. 
Exactly. Just everyone in this away. game looks weird. Yeah. Everyone. Uh, I don't know. Um, but to really make things sound weird, um, I like Zelda clones more than I do like Zelda games. Hmm. Uh, Beyond Oasis for the Genesis is a Zelda clone. And for some reason, I happily played through that recently, and I just don't really like uh, Link, uh, the uh, the two D games, really. Mm -hmm. But I also uh, enjoy Dark Siders, which is very inspired by Zelda. Oh yeah, very. Uh, Down I, to the dungeon design, which is actually kind of great. I played through the first game twice, and I fucking loved it. Games out. I played through. <laughs> right. See you next time, dude. Enjoy the game. <laughs> and let us know next time how it is. Oh, you're downloading. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, so it was... Oh, th there's no pre-download pre, -re like, pre -download or whatever the fuck it's called? No. That's a damn shame. Yeah. See, my friend uh, is of the mentality that if a game is good, you should like it. And I can't stand that no. kind of thinking because I'm just like, I'm like, okay, well. According to who? I, if that's the game's exactly good, the according to who? Yeah. That, that's what we're talking about. I, dude, I don't know. Uh, like, when he sits there and barks at me that like Ico is like the greatest game ever, and I have to play it, I'm like, I just don't really dig that kind of game. It's like I get it. It's about the experience, and it's about you know bonding with the, the character that you're you know helping I... out. I like Ico, but I get what you're saying. Absolutely. It's like, yeah, that's all well and good, but like, if I'm just... Like, if I really just have to kind of have action, and I'm not saying like just dumb action, I mean like, you know, mm. uh, like an RPG where you can have like character development, but then you get into battles, like, I, I need a little bit of action to keep me interested. Yeah. There's not many games that that aren't action-oriented that keep my interest. It's just, look, Call of Brain Dead. that's just how I am. I, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Also, the uh, the action parts of Ico are awful. Yeah, they're like, fairly simplistic. That's, that is definitely not uh, not the game's strong suit. No, at it's, all. It's more about um, the adventure and everything. It, yeah, the yeah, the action is just hit, well hit square a bunch. That's yeah. It. I and that's the thing. I I get that it's a good game. I do. Like I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm going. Oh, it's a bad game. It's just I don't want to play no. it. I I watched someone play. I'm like that was fun. Uh, mm -hmm. But I was also doing something else while watching them play it. So yeah, exactly. All right. L the last thing I'm gonna say on uh, Breath of the Wild. I absolutely understand Jim now. <laughs> it, it is it is a seven out of ten game. It totally is. Oh God. Now, Thank God for Jim. Not only did you say Breath of the Wild isn't as good as everyone else says, now you're agreeing with Jim Sterling. God, if anyone ever does watch this on YouTube, it's just gonna be like crucifixion. Because like, there's look, conspiracy look, it, look. theorists on that uh, saying like, oh, he's obviously paid by like Sony or something like that. Like, they are so angry. They are so angry I, that he I, doesn't I, like it. I do not understand that. Jesus Christ. Like, oh, he's just trying to be an edgelord and lower the Metacritic score. It's like, uh, does anyone no, take Metacritic no. a se seriously? A 7 out of 10 is not going to lower the edge. Uh, it's not going to lower the meta score. Oh, it did by all. a, by a like, 0. 0.3 or something like that. Ooh. So I think instead of, a, do. instead of a 9 on Metacritic, I think it's, um, I think it's an 8.7 or something like that. It's like, oh, gasp and zounds. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this much, and this is this is probably gonna gonna ruffle some feathers. I enjoyed Skyward Sword more. That I don't I don't understand, but I mean, hey, like what you like, <laughs> I don't care. At least Skyward Sword had some semblance of structure and, and some semblance of uh, dungeon design, whatever. It's, it's ah, I just really, really, really don't like the open world approach they went with this time around. It's uh, it's exhausting. I don't like open world games much in general. Like when they're like, yeah. I, I'm not huge into Dynasty Warriors, but I do like the mm. spin-off games. Yet again, um, <clears throat> when they announced that the new one was going to be open world, I'm like, oh, so that's oh your god, nope, 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 yep. 
And Absolutely. Jim Sterling pretty much mirrored those things. He's like, yep, open world ruins yes. everything. You don't have to fight yes. the giant-ass armies. You could just run right up, kill the bad guy, and leave. And people are like, well, yeah. you're just gaming the game. It's that like, is... but if it makes it so easy to do it, then then it's obviously a flaw. Yeah. Like, there's a reason why <sighs> Zelda doesn't let you use the hookshot in every, on every fucking wall. And it's because if you did, you could just, you know, jump to the goddamn boss door. Except yep, exactly. you also need a key, so there you go. There's ways to gate bosses off. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, Scarlet Sword is... No, uh, blah, blah, blah. Breath of the Wild is such a big, big disappointment for me. I don't know. That's fine. It's fine. Motion controls? Control. Yeah, I can't get on with motion controls. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Motion controls are awful. What's been on the rise of popularity, though, is I hear that people really like uh, the Wii U and Switch's um, motion controls gyro? for... Uh, yeah, for precision aiming with gyro. I fucking hate that. Really? It's awful, yeah. Have you I, tried? I do not understand how people could like that. It's that's, well, you... that's so alien to me. What have you tried it in? I did. I tried it in Splatoon and in Skyward Sword, and it's... No, fucking hell, why, why do I keep saying Skyward Sword? Probably because I hate both. I tried it in Breath of the Wild as well. It's... No. Just no. Why? Why, why would you do that? You'd have to ask Geo. He really, really enjoys them. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I mean yeah, I, I kind of... Yeah, see you, Sunset. Have fun. I kind of do get it, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I, ugh. I think if it's something, something if you sat your ass down and like practice, it would, it might work out better. Yeah, um, but I don't know. It's 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 not something I enjoy practicing, and it's not something I see the point in. It's something that I don't particularly enjoy using because I, I've got really shaky hands. That's the issue. Well, For some weird reason, my hands are constantly shaking. Oh, that's Ladies. a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, but, my, my hands shake when I get really fucking hungry, but... Mm. Look, here, here, here's what I'll say on it. I'll play Devil's yep. Advocate for just a, for a moment. Um, sure. When playing Doom on Switch, I definitely noticed that precision aiming was really, really difficult for me. Like, I could run around mm. and shotgun dudes like nobody's business. Uh, I could hit people with rockets. Um, but the moment I pull out the machine gun and tried to, like, do anything with it, I mm -hmm. couldn't do fucking anything. And I was just kind of sitting back and going, maybe if I had the gyro controls, because this is before the update happened. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, maybe yeah. if I had gyro controls, maybe, maybe this would help. But mm -hmm. I do... I don't know. I'm, did, I, so I, did, they, did, did they include gyro, uh, gyro controls then? In an update, uh, recently. Oh. Like, did I think it came it? out three days ago. Oh, all right. So you so, probably didn't try it yet. No, I, I haven't. I haven't really had the interest. I've been playing uh, Wonder Boy and trying to focus on that because. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. I made a I made a recent purchase that I'll I, I'll talk mm -hmm. about, but I, I don't want to deviate too much. I, I I'm just saying like I do think that maybe there is potential for it if you want to get into it, but yeah, I mean there, there absolutely is. I'm, I'm not saying that. that uh... I'm not saying that people who enjoy gyro, uh, gyro controls and are good with it are wrong at all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying I personally don't enjoy it because I, I, I hate waving my shit around while playing games. I want to be as stationary as fucking possible and just play my fucking thing. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I think we all also make some subconscious movements while we're playing games. Like, you know... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how do I put it? I don't know. The worst, the worst example I can think of of motion controls that really pissed me off was... Uh, on Wii, there was, they had the Metal Slug collection, and they mm -hmm. had Grenade mapped to shake the controller. Oh, no. So, no. I was mm -mm. just chucking grenades all the time, because, you know, you get really into it. You start leaning around, you shake, you know, you shake your controller, like, you know, when you, mm -hmm. when you're, like, when you miss, like, a, a big shot, or you get, like, a, a big gun, and you just, like, you shake it, and just all of a sudden you're like, oh, no, my grenade! No! Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a force of habit, or it's a very subconscious thing to do. I mean, they could have definitely mapped it to something else, or at least given the option to, but... Mm -hmm. you can You can have other control options if you use a different controller, but I mean... 
everyone had an extra Wii U controller, but not Wii U. Everyone had an extra yeah. Wii remote, but not, you know, the goddamn nunchuck or an extra mm -hmm. classic controller. Exactly. Also, if you use the nunchuck, I think you were forced to use the deep, not the analog stick for uh, platforming, which... Oh, no. I'm never a fan of that. No. Like, if, if you've got a side-scrolling platform, which is... Let me use the fucking pad. That's yeah, Metroid 2. For. Yeah, Metroid 2. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you give me a goddamn option? Why did you force me to use the goddamn <laughs> analog stick? Wait, really? Yep. And oh, you, you mean uh, Samus Returns? Yeah, the remake. Uh, you have to use an analog stick for all the platforming. Oh God, no! The D-pad was dedicated to uh, the special selection, because you got a... Um, I don't know what the hell they were called, so I'll just call them Relic. Uh, abilities like you got a, a machine right. gun ability, a shield ability, and a couple of other things, and you had to use the D-pad to select them. I mean, if they've got so much shit, then if they got a map map it to something, but still, it's just you know. well, I mean, then let me map it to they the analog stick. They could have easily added an option to just switch it around, you know? Yeah, because with the PSP, uh, yeah, PSP, I would, I would, uh. Frequently map things to the um, the analog stick. Yeah. Hell, even even my uh, <clears throat> my emulators, I would have a you know save state and load state you know on that. Mm -hmm. I, I I wouldn't use a D pad for that. Are you kidding me? D pad's too valuable. Yeah. Exactly. Oh well. Made me sad. <laughs> um. But. Yeah, I made a recent purchase, which I'm not too sure if I'm happy about, because I, ha I haven't opened it yet. I'm sure it'll be good and everything, but I right. got, um, uh, I got Bayonetta 2. Mm-hmm. I really don't like that it costs 60 fucking dollars again. Yeah. Uh, That's but nonsense. I didn't buy the them, in, uh, I didn't buy two in the first place. Uh, my friend mm -hmm. bought it on Wii U and he just left it here. He's literally never played it. Um, <laughs> Great. Kind of like me. <laughs> With yeah, a lot of games. Have you you've left them at your friend's house? Uh, no. Yeah, that's he, he dude. He he ordered it on my Amazon account, which is funny. Like he paid me, he gave me money to order it. Uh, I got him twenty percent off, and mm -hmm. uh, I handed it to him, and he put it in my drawer, and he never played it. What? <laughs> yep, he's got a backlog like a motherfucker. Oh God. Um, but I never had a chance to play Bayonetta because my 360 fucking red ringed seven mm. times. Jesus. And whenever I bring that up, people still tell me you should take better, uh, better, better care, care of your console. Shit. I'm like, well, the thing about the red ring is it doesn't matter if you take care of it or not. It just fucking happens. Yeah, I'm it's like, it's a fucking red ring. I'm like, are you aware of the the failure rate was at one point over fifty six percent? I'm like. It's, Jesus! It is not my fault. I have syst I've I've only had one system give me trouble, and that was the PS2 because it had the well-known disc read problem, which mm -hmm. you can fix by adjusting the gears. And I did that for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you opened the system and played with the uh, the gears in the disc drive, like if you just I think you turned it like to the left three times, it would just start working. <laughs> don't <laughs> I don't I don't fucking know. I don't know, it was a solution and it worked, and it worked for like yeah. three years for us. But that's the only other gonna, system I've had problems with. I'm not gonna question it. As exactly. long as it works. Exactly. Whatever. So, yeah, it, it's just. Uh, I take really good care of my shit. Mm hmm. The only, the only hardware problems I've ever had is that, and Geo throwing my game gear at the floor. So, sorry, mm -hmm. sometimes it's just out of my hands with this hardware stuff. Literally. Um, yeah. I'm hoping Bayonetta 2 is going to be good. It's just fucking annoying that it's $60 again for less. For less? Why? Why are they charging so much for a game that because comes with Nintendo, less? Nintendo, they, they refuse to acknowledge that, 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 that older games are worth less with time. I mean, if you if you included both cartridges, if they were if there were two cartridges in there, fine, sure. fine, I would totally get it. I would just go, yeah, you know what? Oh, abso absolutely, that's a fair deal. Because cartridges are expensive. I yes. get it. So, sure. fine. But they don't. They did in Japan, but not the glorious U.S. of A. <coughs> Shut up. 
But you get you get a lot of you get a lot of stuff. I, I, blah, blah, blah. You don't get a lot of stuff that the rest of the world gets, which is so weird. Yeah, like Metroid 2's Special Edition being garbage over here and amazing in Europe. I'm like, why? Yeah. I want that. Give me, let me give you money. Yeah. It's frustrating. Like, it wasn't even, like, that amazing of a Special Edition. But I still would have fucking happily bought it and went, like, this is an amazing Special Edition. Mm-hmm. Good. And oh, well. Nintendo of... be Nintendo. I am out of music on this uh, soundtrack, so on to the next one. So, yeah, I might try Bayonetta 2 today, depending who the hell knows. Mm. Well, by, by try 2, I mean I will finally get to play 1 after all these years! <laughs> God! I played yeah. both, and I have no fucking clue what's going on. It takes a I am so... I am so overwhelmed with what's going on on the screen, it's like... Holy shit, you guys, tone it down a notch. I can't maybe, fucking keep up. Maybe you just gotta watch a video or two to uh, have it explained to you, because I play Devil May Cry, so... No, here's the thing, I, I, under I understand how it works, I understand the mechanics, I understand the, uh, the, the fighting system and everything, I understand it. I just, you... can't I just can't make out what's going on. It's hmm. so visually busy. I... <sighs> I can't see half, half of the time. You've got old man eyes. I'm gonna get your. Uh, I'm gonna get your uh, eyes a uh, mobile scooter. <laughs> Me. I'll get one of those bike horns too, so you can just squeeze it. Go. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, I, I I do like it though, because it's silly and it's fucking outrageous. That's what I and one of these days, I'm gonna beat my old man eyes. But today is not one of those days. Jiminy Cricket, I gotta see it, Bayonetta! Fuck all of you! <laughs> I can see! I can fight! Yeah, that, 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 that's gonna be me. So if, if you hear me screaming that, you know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Lou goes to the toppest mountain of all of Austria. Throws his shirt off and whips it around his head, going, Everyone! I can do it! I can fight! I can win! <laughs> I gotta see! In Bayonetta! Put your shirt back <laughs> I on! The level. Put your shirt back on! No one wants to see that shit! Oh, seriously, nobody does. At least I hope so, because if, if, you, if you do want to see that stuff, you've got some weird fetishes, my friend. You're gonna... You're gonna hear some weird breathing and like look towards your uh, your window one day, and you're just gonna see like someone like pressed up against yeah pressed up against the window. Their cheeks just like because like like hey there, one out. Hey there, sexy. Uh, I happen to, happen to notice that uh I happen to notice that your pale ass was uh sitting there playing some bayonet too. And that that that, that really turned me on. <laughs> this didn't get weird. We're not weird. We're not weird at all. Who says that? I'll have you know we are perfectly normal. Yeah. By... We're, we are very normal, just by very weird standards, so... Perfectly normal, two heterosexual men streaming a art stream while making yeah. weird noises into the microphone. On a platform that nobody fucking uses. Well, hey, I'll have Is you know... I. It's I the am only streaming on Twitch is. right now, and YouTube. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so, right. You someone, someone might be watching. It's the only platform that lets us multi-stream, so there you go. Well, there's apparently plugins that you can do to, to do it. I don't know. Eh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm too lazy to look that up. I know you're too lazy. I know you are. I fucking know yeah. you are. Dude, I, I, come, I come home from like eight hours of uh, having to be creative and then I stream after that. It's uh, strange. I, I roll out of bed to stream, goddammit. I roll out of bed. Yeah, you're, some... you're well rested. Oh, <laughs> three hours sleep is well rested, is it? <laughs> oh god, I, I, just, I just recently had three hours of sleep, so I, I get you. It's <laughs> awful. Three... It's fucking awful. I, 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 I was like a zombie all day. Oh, you had three hours of sleep. I thought you had like a three-hour nap. I was gonna say like, oh yeah, three-hour no. nap. No. Oh man. No, legit three hours of sleep. I, I could not fucking sleep. It was the worst. 
Oh, dude, my favorite is you're, you know, you're sleeping, and then all of a sudden you wake up, and you're like, well, that's it, I'm awake now, two hours sleep, uh, and that's it, you, you can't go back to bed, it's just, this is, this is your day now. Yeah, this is your life. The worst, the worst fucking thing is when you wake up, and you're like, oh my, oh my god, I, I could really, like, for, for whatever reason, and you're like, oh my god, I could really go for at least half an hour of sleep, please, please, lord, let me have half an hour of sleep. And you look over to your uh, alarm clock, and it's like, well, five minutes before the alarm goes off, go fuck yourself. Ah. Great, it's five minutes till eat a bag of dicks. Exactly, and you're like, there is no god. I mean, that's me in a nutshell, but you know. What does guaranteed overnight delivery have to do with anything, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I will continue. I will it's continue to make that goddamn joke until it's not funny. Wait, it's never been funny. Shit. I was just about to say that. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even sure anyone's aware of that because, like, I swear I saw it on the side of a truck and it said, God, I'm like, what the hell? And then, like, right under it says, guaranteed <laughs> overnight delivery. I'm like, I was just, like, oh. I was really confused, but I've never seen a truck like that ever since. That is a strange abbreviation. I'll have to look it up. It had to be, like, some, like, small business that was, like, hired <laughs> out to do some shit or whatever. Probably. Who knows, dude? Speaking of purchases we pro we will probably regret someday, we okay. got ourselves a little upgrade, didn't we? You had to go there. I did. Well... We, we, were, we meant to talk about this for ages now. Yeah, but kind of want to put off because it's... I don't know. I kind of feel awkward about talking about hardware upgrades because I have like massive anxiety issues with this kind of stuff. It's like, mm. I bought something new. Instead of enjoying it, I sit there and go, should I have really spent oh. the money on this? Oh yeah, yeah, same here. Same here. It doesn't matter if it's fucking amazingly useful. Like my Surface Pro 4, I use that as my primary machine for like two years. And mm -hmm. even still, I was like, oh my god, this thing, like, this I don't know. Worth it. Yeah, but it was worth. That's the problem. Like it was, but my brain just kept going like derp -a derp -a derp. Yeah, exactly. Same. Same here. So you you go ahead and tell us about your your Lenovo. Oh right, right. So since you brought it up, you fucking jerk, <laughs> you fucking nerds. So anyway, uh, I one day I've, uh, I, I figured, well, my Surface Pro 3 is getting really, really hot whenever I try to draw something in Clip Studio, and it's uh, it's also throttling like a motherfucker whenever it gets warm. Also, the fans kept pissing me off because they kept kicking into high gear, no matter if I was just drawing something or watching stuff on YouTube on it, or just playing Binding of Isaac or whatever. It, 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 it would immediately go into uh, kicking to really, really high gear whenever I did anything on it. That's lately. what it so. really surprised the shit out of me, because Geo... You know, I had the 4, Geo had the 3, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there working on a 600 DPI document, you know, it's quite big, yeah. and yeah. it's not even it's not even warm. Fan's not mm -hmm. doing anything, it's completely off, and Geo's sitting there, and you just hear the thing just going like, Oh my god, I'm trying so hard, I'm so sorry! I know, I know. That's the, that's the Surface Pro 3 in a nutshell. It's I didn't know it was that serious bad. serious heat issues. I really had no idea it was that bad. Like, I was really close to buying it, and then, like, the Surface Pro 4 came out, like, oh. Yeah. I guess I'm doing that then. Thank God. Thank fuck you did, because the 3... Well, while, it, while it is a great machine, it's not the best machine for art. For the for this exact reason. Like, the, the, term, the thermals on it are awful. Well, let me put it to you this way. If I didn't get the Surface Pro 4, I wouldn't be streaming with... I would not have been streaming with you ever, because oh yeah, yeah, I was streaming with you for quite a while on the four. Mm hmm. That would that would be unthinkable on the three. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> indiscussible. No. This, this the wouldn't happen. The screen would turn black. The CEO of Microsoft would just walk over, sit in a chair, and cross his arms and just go, "No." That the would. Fuck, are you doing? <laughs> that yeah. would that would be you trying to stream? Me trying to stream? Just like the guy said, "No, not happening." No. no. I know what you're yeah. thinking, and no. Yeah. And it's weird, because the Surface Pro 2 handled it just fine, because I had that too at one point. They probably just used uh, 
like processors that didn't uh, that didn't scream in agony whenever you tried to do anything. What are you doing to me? Yeah, I I, I don't know. It's, it it probably was that uh, generation of processors that they used. Oh well. Yeah. So anyway, I like so, someday I, I I'm I'm like hmm I'm I'm pondering if I should upgrade or uh, and stuff. And you bring up the Surface I, Book. I definitely did yes. it on each. <laughs> this this time around it was the this time it was the other way around. So we're even now. So talking to you was like hmm. Should I get a Surface Book as well, or should I be looking at alternatives? And I'm so glad I, I kept looking for anything but the Surface, because, you know, my brand loyalty has never been all that great. I will happily jump ship if I if something better comes along. I'd be brand stupid loyalty. not to. Brand loyalty? Huh. What's that? Ah, fuck that. Um, and I wasn't all that... Let's say I didn't trust the Surface line all that much after my experience with the Surface Pro 3. So what I did instead was get a Lenovo Yoga 920. After a long, uh, after a long search, I did look at the HP Spectre 360 as well. That was pretty sexy. Oh yeah, it, it, it is. It is an absolutely sexy machine. Don't get me wrong. It's it's beautifully made. I really like the uh, the black and gold. Uh, color, uh, color scheme it got going on. I absolutely adore that, actually. So what but... took you away from it, then? Thermals. Reviews... Right, 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 right. You said it didn't reviews get... Reviews kept... Toasty. Yeah, reviews kept mentioning that, that it can and will get pretty toasty. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna get a, uh, an upgrade, I'm not gonna get one with the same fucking issues as my current <laughs> machine. Right? Right. I definitely know that from my uh, also, old ass... Also Go on. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, also, something else that they mentioned, like, uh, or that I found out, the HP Spectre wouldn't let me use any other charger than the one it came with. So that was also a bit of a concern, because the uh, the HP Spectre charger was a bit big on the big side. Uh, HP's which... always been a bit weird with that. My, yeah. my old HP ZD8000, you know, from college days, had, like, some mm -hmm. proprietary shit attached to it, including the charger, so... Um, yeah, exactly. It was a... I, I don't know, like, there was, there was a couple of ports on there, it was just like, what is this? It's like, oh, it's HP only, and it's also fucking expensive as shit. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so that turned me away, and I kept looking, and I stumbled upon a, a, a few pretty interesting reviews for the Lenovo Yoga 920. And so I got that one instead, and it's... Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful in, in every... In every way, I love it. And have you got a chance to uh, draw on it? Yes, actually, I did draw a couple, uh, a couple things on it. There it is, 13 inch, beautiful aluminum build. Uh, it's also great that it's aluminum because I was growing kind of sick of the uh, of the magnesium alloy that Microsoft uses because it's so weird. It gets so hot so quickly. Which is yeah, to hear because again I've been using uh, that stuff and I just never had that problem. But hey. it's also, it also scratches very easily. I found so yeah. <laughs> if you look at my Surface Pro Four, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was used. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I use the hell out of that shit. I I don't know what it is about mine, but I I did get a couple small scratches on the back, so it's not that shiny anymore. Anyway, yeah, it's it's. A, it's a proper fucking laptop, so I don't have to whip out my Bluetooth, um, my Bluetooth keyboard and anything if I want to use it. I can also use it on my lap, which is a plus, because sometimes I don't have the space. Yes, yeah, the Surface Series was definitely a bit of a problem with that kind of shit. Oh yeah, you couldn't use it on a, uh, on a lap at all. And it folds up just like a tablet, so I can just fucking draw on it just like a Surface. It's perfect. And it's probably so, cheaper because Surface seemed to have got seems to have gotten expensive recently. Yeah, it's it was uh, thirteen hundred bucks on a on a pretty sweet deal. I got it three hundred. Uh, I got it for three hundred bucks off. Usually it's sixteen hundred sixteen hundred for the i five model with two hundred and fifty six gigs of SSD space, and they threw in the uh, the 
stylus as well, which is pretty neat, actually. It uses Wacom tech. Huh. And it's really, really accurate. It's, it's fucking awesome. I love it. It's in, not not because of the Wacom tech, I mean, probably to some extent, but yeah, I, I, I really like it. It's great. I gotta say that I've been uh, drawing a little bit more on the surface recently. Mm -hmm. uh, just drawing, not I haven't been doing too much inking on it because I don't have my network set up yet. Uh, yeah. But I really like how accurate the damn stylus is on that thing. Mm. It's so yeah. damn like there's there's absolutely almost no parallax. Parallax. Mm-hmm. Same same with the yoga. No parallax at all. Like the Huion. I'm that we got it, it's definitely the yeah, parallax is really good but it's mm -hmm. it's there if you're on a pretty poor angle yeah it is no doubt about it but it, the uh, the huion shines with performance and with uh, accuracy you just gotta get used to the parallax and it's something you get used to very quickly i've, yeah. I've found it's not too bad you just gotta make sure you're looking i guess not so much at the tip of your pen but more so at where the cursor is. Uh-huh. Exactly. I kind of wish there was a way to put a crosshair on the... Uh... On the cursor for a clip studio, but I don't think there's a way to do that. Hang on. I think I've got one set up, actually. And I'm pretty sure there is a way to do that. Just give me a sec. Because I know there's a way to do it in Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Nineteen. Right. Just a sec. I just gotta. Uh, I just gotta save my file. I am in fact hanging on. Yeah, yeah. Number nineteen. Right. Hey, I'm right. Let me see if there is actually a way to do that. If I'm just. Oh yeah, there totally is. Do tell. Uh, let me see. File preferences, and just go to uh, go to file preferences. Mm -hmm. Go to cursor. I'm looking at. And use um, what's it called? I've got an, I've got it in German, so that's a bit weird. Dot line. It, yeah, it, uh, just use dot and um, size. I think it's called. Uh, I'm not seeing that. I only see the dot. Like in the um, in the uh, in the drop down. Hold on, I'm gonna send you what I got, and you can tell me what's what. Yeah, go to uh, go to the drop down menu for brush type cursor and pen type cursor. Mm. Actually, pretty much all of the, all of the first three. Mm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hmm. Let's see how this works then. Oh, it doesn't have a circle around it anymore. Damn. Yeah, but you can use uh, you can you can use uh, brush size and dot. That's a thing. Hmm. Let me see that again. Let's see, uh... Oh, brush size and cross. There we go. Never mind. Exactly. Exactly. And it's and it's also got brush size and dot if you want it if you want it a bit smaller. This stream still. just got a whole lot better. Hi everyone. I'm Scott. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful day. This is how I sound when I'm having, in fact, a wonderful a day. A wonderful day. Yeah. You're welcome. I never, like, I looked at that and I was just like, oh, so it's just not here. Because, like, I don't know what the other oh, one was in Photoshop, but it looked different. Yeah. But, oh, dude, there's so much you can do in preferences in Clip Studio. It's kind of insane. Yeah, I'm gonna, wait, where's the eraser? Eraser type cursor. Yeah, get that fucking, get that cross in there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. There you go. Fuck yeah. Inking just became yeah, a lot yeah. easier. Yep. Told you. You son bitch. <laughs> you you son bitch, why I got a high like that? How dare you learn me like that? I ain't, I ain't <laughs> the one who gets learned. I'm the one who learns you, boy. Yeah. 
Every day I turn around, Clip Studio better. just like gets better and better. Actually, hang on a sec. Hang on. Oh, right, it's just my, just my heating. It's making strange noises. What'd you think, it was your cat? No, it's just, it sounded like something vibrating. And it probably is vibrating to some extent, so, you know. Anyway, that is me done for today, but I'm gonna go on a gaming break and just hang out a bit more. Gadzooks, you hang out? Yeah, I'm just not gonna upload it to YouTube. There you go. <laughs> I, don't know I why probably should wouldn't. not have mentioned that. Oh, well. Anyway, that's me done for today. Thank you all very much for watching. You can follow me on pumcomic.com, where you can also find this comic that you can read tomorrow. You, can follow, you should also follow me on Twitter, because it's Twitter, you yeah. know. And on Facebook at POM, a piece of me comic, because POM comic was already taken. You've never exactly. mentioned this before. I know. It's weird, right? If you enjoyed it, do like, follow, and subscribe, and all of the good stuff. Anyway, that is me done for today, as I already said, and thank you all very much for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye. And since I'm still streaming and recording, everyone will know what's going on. Indeed. You gotta subscribe to my Patreon if you want early access to wonderful conversations like this. <laughs> How would they know? I mean, it's like... As soon as they, as soon as this goes up to YouTube, it's like, oh damn! And now we don't have early access anymore. You two bastards were sitting there lurking this entire time. I'll have you know that we were. Pro I thought I was boring this entire street. Well, maybe I was boring. Just because you were here doesn't mean you weren't being bored. <laughs> I'm Never not mind. Boring. I am bored. It's Never mind. Difference. You're not. You guys aren't bastards. You guys are. You guys are just punks. We'll go with that. Yeah. And I'm rude. <laughs> You're pretty alright. Alright, alright. Right. Uh, let's go to the dashboard and switch to gaming mode. Hello? Dashboard? Hi. Hi. Can you please? I'm here. I'm, in fact, here. Are you, though? Are you really? I am, in fact, here. And I am, in fact, awake. <laughs> um. There we go. Game mode on. I was gonna say, uh, I wound up getting the Surface Book because that's what I was umming and aahing over because I oh, yeah. saw it for dirt fucking cheap. Well, <clears throat> in relative terms. <laughs> um, I was just about to say, the service book is by no means cheap. Okay, well, look, let's put it this way. When the service book 2 was selling for $2,600 for, like, oh the model God. that you would want, and I got mine for 900 uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. And it's still... Okay, I know that's still not cheap, but when I'm gonna be selling my Surface oh, Pro 4 and getting... Uh, a good yeah. chunk of my money back. That's yeah. that's that's you know a win for me. I don't think I'm gonna be spending more than two hundred. Still a lot of money. That's still a lot of fucking money. But it's an upgrade that I think is something that will pay off for future proofing and general use and whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about future proofing because it's more of a side grade for you, right? I mean, uh, it did come out at, this, at around the same time as the Surface Pro Four. God damn it! Fucking microphone. There we go. It's still noticeably better in a lot of ways. Like, it's got the dedicated oh, yeah, GPU, yeah. and I also got the i7, so it's mm. better mm. multitasking. Yeah. And I noticed that it's not fucking scalding hot, you know, like the Service Pro 3's i7. Because, mm -hmm. like, Geo hands it to me, hands me his thing, and I, you know, draw it for a little bit. I'm like, my god, my awful, hands are so it? clammy now. I'm like, what's going mm. on? Why is this yeah. thing on fire? Ryan, what should I play? I have no bias in this uh, situation, but uh, I might suggest um, survival horror Resonance game. Here. It's a uh, survival horror game. You might have heard of it. It's got a, it's got a little boy and Billy Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know about the little boy. What? Rebecca Chambers? Oh, goddammit. <laughs> what are you, gay? I was watching uh, someone play a Let's Play of that, and I just laughed my ass off. Uh, he kept saying, like, you know, who is this strange little 
boy. Boy. <laughs> like, like, well then, if that's how we're gonna fucking play this. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna fall back onto one of my comfort streams, uh, comfort games again. I Play really gotta alert. be. In, I really gotta be in the in the mood for anything but that. Actually, You're so lame. You're I know. So very lame. I can't help it. All right, it's 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 something I can relax to. You can help it. Can, but you choose not to. Cause you're lazy. Eh. You lazy fuck. Duh. It's uh, Thursday, my dudes. Yeah, and the stream is already over. I'm sorry. Well, it, we're still going for a little bit anyway. I mean, yeah, yeah. Anywhere. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on a gaming break. Um, I just got a. Translate and upload the comic after that. Damn you, monster! <laughs> no, you monster. no! Damn you! <laughs> damn you, danger! Because fucking, I want to play Monster Hunter, but I don't want to fucking cough up 120 bucks for the PS4 version. Because if if you want to play it online, got to how fucking, much? 120 because you gotta buy the game. And you got gotta buy PS Plus if you want to play online. Jesus Christ! And that's a game. Also, that's a game you want to play with friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting yeah, for the Steam I'm, version. I'm interested, but at the same time, it's like, yeah. Lou, it's the Dark Souls of action, you know, RPG games. Is it the Dark Souls of Monster Hunter games? I, I think it's funny that they the reviewers were saying it was the Dark Souls of anything, and people had to Cut rudely it. correct them and go, this predates Dark Souls. Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking hell! How lazy can you be? Jesus. Monster Hunter was a fucking PS2 game, I'll have you know. I know. I know. But so, I'm not a games reviewer, so I have some knowledge. No, I know, I'm just saying, like, it's like, <laughs> how the fuck could these people screw it up this bad? It's not a new series. How- also, how do you call yourselves a games journalist if you can't even get your fucking facts straight, you piece of shit? Yeah, Danger. I, I know that it's it's got like a Netflix like side to it where you get like a bunch of games and stuff. But like, I have a lot of games on my PC already. Yeah, that... I don't need it. I don't need any more. Thank you very much. Yeah, the discount really doesn't come in useful. I, I don't know. And my phone is. Yeah. Ringing. Hold on. Let me see. No one important. Okay. <laughs> Righto. Alright, so we can play. I'm gonna play on the uh, on the PC. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's what I've got it for in the first place. Listen, what? I've I've had more people try and haggle me over to the console side of things, and <laughs> and the comedy is I Ow. I wait, and then they buy the PC version later on when it comes out, and I just go, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah. Actually, that's kind of how uh, it worked with um, Borderlands. I stopped playing it on. Uh, I, I never played it on. What? Uh, online because my I just played it with my brother split screen on a uh, console uh, and right. then two weeks into playing it my friends like hey did you see this Borderlands game I'm like yeah uh, it's pretty good why uh, I don't have it on PC I have it on 360 <laughs> he bought it for me so we could play on <laughs> PC I'm like I'm like dude why he's like I need someone to play with I'm like you are sad and I will happily join you in these sad adventures <laughs> <laughs> And I will never play Borderlands 1 again, because that intro. That intro. Which one? Oh, I can't even remember it. The intro level? It's burning in my brain. Um, where you gotta- Ah, fuck. You gotta run around the little desert area, and you got Claptrap, and, um, I forgot what the stereotypical Russian guy was. Oh god, yeah, fuck that, fuck. I hate the game enough as is. Yeah, I, I got burnt. And I finished it. it for some fucking reason. I beat Borderlands I mean, one at least three times. Yeah, I mean, I know exactly why. I I, I was dumb and didn't know any better. I mean, it's not, it's not bad for a co-op game, but I mean, any game is made better with co-op. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 not an argument. I don't know. I I, I kind of 
I think in the turn in the case of um, beat em ups, they're always good, but uh, they are just so much infinitely better when you're playing them co op because it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. it adds a lot of uh, potential variety to it. Generally, cooperation and all that. What are you playing, by the way? I'm playing uh, yeah. Dark Souls Free. Of course. Yeah, wh why do you even ask, dude? There we go. But you can play Freedom Fuck. Planet. You can play Freedom you. Planet. But yeah, my your my Dark Souls is your Freedom Planet. Whoop. Ow. True, I guess. I want to play too so bad. Is it out yet? No. No. There's a demo for it, but I am refusing to play because I just want to go in blind and just go like, oh my yeah. god, this is incredible. Because like when I played Freedom Planet One. Um, I, I really saw Geo play the demo of it when it was, like, um, in, like, early, early beta or alpha, and mm -hmm. I, rem I distinctly remember going, wow, this looks like a janky, crappy Sonic clone, but then once the, once it, the game came out of beta, and, like, they, they finalized it and put it out on Steam, and I saw it, I was like, wow, this game looks amazing, and then I played it, yeah. and I was just, I had, the, I had just this adrenaline rush the whole boner. game. Exactly, I had the strangest <laughs> bone of this whole time. I had, I, I had like an adrenaline rush the entire game, and like there's so many scenes that just got me so pumped, so excited. Just like, oh my god! It, it it basically captured the spirit of Sonic for you without being Sonic. No, I dis no, absolutely not. I'm gonna say something that I I may flip flop a little bit on <laughs> because I don't I'm not very good with having favorites. I don't have favorites. Right. But. I think Freedom Planet is a better game in than uh, a lot of the games that inspired it. I think it's Damn. it's better than Sonic uh, in a lot of in a lot of cases. Like it's it's got the platforming down so good. The music is so good. The intensity of the action's good. Um, yeah, Sonic Mania definitely uh, and Sonic Three are definitely really really close because like they are able to tell a story without using any words. And that's what I really enjoy about them. And Freedom Planet does have a story mode with words, but it also has an adventure mode where it's just like, hey, you don't need to have, you don't need to play the story, just have fun with yeah. the platforming. It's so good. That's cool. Uh, will allow to transfer PS PS to PC. I might buy it when it's really laggy on PlayStation. Well, I would rather play it on PC straight up instead of having to buy it twice. You know. But you don't have a PS4, so you couldn't play it anyway. I know. I know, I'm just saying. If Even if I had a PS4, I, I would still rather play it on PC. Yeah. Because, I, you know, I agree. Free, free online play, uh, free... Ow! Fucking ow. I've already got a powerful PC that can handle it at 60 FPS at all times. No, I'm good. Who looks delicious? Must be Lou. Probably me. With this fancy ass webcam. <laughs> Come on. I'm fucking die already. There we go. I saw a webcam that was on sale for a decent price and I just was like, nope. Because <laughs> I don't need I mean, the he... extra anxiety. <laughs> I don't even. I don't care about, about it. In all honesty. There we go. Know. Come on. Please tell me it didn't. Oh fuck! It probably was the wrong one. Oh! Lou, I believe in you. Good. At least someone, because I know I don't. <laughs> so danger. How is uh, Monster Hunter overall? Like, I don't know if you've played the other ones. I played. Um. <laughs> Waiting for oops, wrong chat. No, no, this is Picardo. <laughs> This is Picardo, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there is no such thing as a wrong chap. Uh, I've played Monster Hunter on PSP and 3DS, so I, I haven't seen much footage on the new one, but I know the the hardcore Monster Hunter fans are upset because it, it changed some things. Like, um, I actually have no idea what it changed, because I... I Really, I'm trying not to like look at it because I kind of want to go in blind as I do. Yeah. Um. But I, I'm just curious. Like, is it good? Is it as good? Or you know, is it missing some stuff because you know it's a 
giant jump into... Oh, it's the first you ever played. Fuck. Well, that, that kind of ruins any potential questions. <laughs> no, it's fine. My day isn't ruined or anything. God. God. Oop. Um, Ow. But the players I play with love it. Oh, that's cool. Ow. Monster Hunter's definitely got a, a big perk to it in that it doesn't have any level ups, so it's just oh, yeah, armor yeah. that you gotta worry about. It's like, you can get left behind it easily, but it's a lot harder to there be left go. behind versus other games where it's like you need to level up and on top of that also keep your gear uh, good, a bit easier. They've been getting progressively easier. The one on 3DS that I have, that definitely was uh, easier than... Uh, earlier versions, because the hmm. earlier versions wouldn't scale the game to how many players there were. So if you were just one person, um, if you were just one person, it was still as hard as four people. Uh, four people playing. Like, the uh, the monster's health would never change. So go figure that one out. Lou, apparently you're a true daddy. Am I? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hey, that's my song. That's copyright. I'm gonna I know. Fucking, I'm gonna file a complaint with YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna DMCA strike me up, bro? Oh, you're goddamn right I am. <laughs> Dude, when, when I get to my Let's Play of Alien Isolation, that is, that is going to be the song that Ow. you hear all the time. I'm just gonna be... Every chance I get, it's gonna be gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. That game is fucking butt clenchy as fuck. You've never been more right. I don't think I want to know what wrong is. If I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. Am I right? I am right. Well, I'm not sure you've ever been right. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see. I mean, let's be honest. You make a webcomic. <laughs> <laughs> I make a webcomic. I'm wrong by default. You're, you're, you're wrong, and you also might have a mental illness. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're wrong and confused. Now, see, some people might be saying, but, but Snot, that's what you're doing. You're making a webcomic. And I would have to say, no, that is where you are wrong. I am making a graphic novel, or a manga, am, as some people have been in putting. In fact, it. making something entirely else. Yeah, see, it's totally different. There's I'm... just because it's weekly updated on the on the internet doesn't mean it's a webcomic. See, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a technicality. You guys will learn this yeah. one day when you're older. <laughs> you're, go you're gonna c come to appreciate that. Just because sometimes I hashtag webcomic on Twitter doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I am not in denial. My sarcasm can't get any thicker. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> uh, do I want to upgrade my Zweihander? Zweihander? Swihander, yeah, I think I do actually. What about what about Einhander? Uh I Einhander are uh, Einhanders are for babies. Einhander is uh also a game oh, of PlayStation. I still got my Ooh, I got my uh, Hollow Slayer, yeah boy. You know what? You Let me slap that bitch. Hold on a second. You have you have a sword that's dedicated to slaying holograms? No, you... hollows. You're horrible. Screw you. <laughs> if it makes you feel, yourself feel better to call it a graphic novel, then go for it, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl! <laughs> yeah, girl! Go for it, girl! You can do it! Well, apparently I should be calling it a manga, according to people who have looked at my <laughs> comic. They're like, they're like your, your comic's kind of Japanese, but it's kind of not. I'm like, what does that mean? I don't get How it. How is I'm... it even Japanese? What are you on about? I, I don't know. I didn't target that, so, I mean, if it is, then fuck me. There's, there's nothing Japanese about him. I, I really Honestly, don't know. Honestly, not that mustache has me shook. <laughs> Yee, yeah, boy. 
Look, looks like you got a fan it, anymore. It is, a, it is a lovely mustache. I, I love to twirl it around like a fucking badass. You mean a villain? <laughs> you mean a villain like all Austrians are? Let's be honest here. Yeah. And Whipley Snyder, see? Yeah. Okay, so Monster Hunter World does scale. Thank goodness, because my god, my my ass got kicked so hard in that uh, in the original one sometimes. If I wasn't already gay, I'd be now. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that as a compliment, thank you very much. I don't know well if you would take it. <laughs> Some people might take offense to that, but yeah. you know, there's me. I don't I don't take particular offense to anything, really. Why would I? Oh, you have the hunting horn. Yeah, you got to you got to be working with a party if you're doing hunting horn. That thing it's good, what? but in um in. in Monster Hunter, you have a hunting horn and it can buff your party in a number of ways, but yeah. it's mostly for buffing. Like you can attack with it. It will do damage, but um it, it's really meant for just making your allies uh you know get get them like a little healed up or whatever yeah um i i never played with one my friend kind of played with it and like i i knew he was Oops. doing things but you're, you're too busy trying to not be crushed by a giant monster and also <laughs> hit it a couple times i tried to impress you but all and all, but I can only say one word in Austrian. Go for it, dude. <laughs> That's more than I can say. <laughs> Is it all Kastlerschwaf by any chance? Oh, God. <laughs> I have no idea who you are, but I like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've read all day. <laughs> Damn, good. dude! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's pretty ed. That's pretty edgy, boy. Come on. Oh my god. <clears throat> um. Yeah, hunting horn. That is very difficult to start out with. Like, from what I gather, the best starting weapon to like get your grips on is the greatsword because it's versatile. I mean. I did back in the day, but on the newer games, I wound up just going directly for the twin swords because I like just being the human blender. It seems to be mm. my role in most games to just take care of doing uh, lots of little things. Like uh, if there's a boss, I take care of all the ads that are around for my friends or whatever. Yeah. The one word isn't even impressing. It's what you guessed already. Ah, nice. Well... It's diff it's a difficult word to to say for foreigners. Schmetterling. No Austrian, not German. It's oh. Ochkatzlerschwaf. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can't you guys agree on something? <laughs> it's it basically means squirrel tail. Jesus. Ochkatzlerschwaf. You, you guys have to learn to agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler was German, he was Austrian, he was German, he was- Fucking pick one, Jesus, come on, the rest of the world's sitting no, here Beethoven was Beethoven was Austrian, you, you, you're you mixing stuff up. Mm. I see how it goes, I see how it is. Yeah. I don't know, I think Ger some Germans might disagree. <laughs> well, they're wrong. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Listen, can you really be wrong when it's history? Can you really, <laughs> yeah. really think about it? It's alternative history, don't you know? <laughs> Just like alternative facts and shit? Alternative history. Probably. I've, I've seen a lot Probably of that in Star thing. Trek. <laughs> Ooh, counter hit. Nice. Beethoven could guess the taste of a lollipop just by sitting on it. I've been told to sound like a gay hairdresser saying it. I mean, not too far off, but still. 
I can be edgy if that ca if, if it does it for you, but to be honest, I'd rather make you edge. Uh, hate hate to break this to you, dude, but I don't swing that way. But still, thank you. <laughs> if I would, I I'd be totally down. <laughs> I had a uh, gay hairdresser once, and it was it was kind of like I don't even know how to describe this. He was jacked as all hell, <laughs> and like. Of basically ripping out of his own shirt just standing there and um i just wanted to get my head buzzed and seemed to have a little bit of a problem doing that because it seemed like his muscles had two modes and that's uh fast and not moving so it's yeah. good thing he had a hard head because i just like just just picture the metal like clanking sound every time he hit my head with like the buzzer's like dink i'm like uh-huh dink dink <laughs> dink 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 <laughs> Right. My <laughs> gay hairdresser almost made me straight. I <laughs> 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 uh, never wanted to think about it again. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Do tell that story, please. Hat For the love of God. <laughs> I have no That's idea. That's hilarious. <laughs> I have no idea how to even react to that. The funny thing is, my brother got a uh, haircut by the same guy because you know we were just we were both there, so just you know he got his haircut, then I got my haircut, and he walked out like rubbing his head and going like, "Oh my god, that guy! He just cannot cut hair." And I'm like, I'm just walking like, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually a gay hairstylist. Well, there you go. That, that explains the mustache dresser, appreciation. Right. Ah, what is today's stream? <laughs> yeah, let's upgrade the lands because why not? Right. Let me s gotta slap that bitch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me put a slap on that bitch. Right. Yeah. No, a, a slap, not a slap. Oh. I... Oh, whoops. Well, <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Now it's just fucking lame. I mean... <laughs> it's just awkward. The most awkward one might say. <laughs> the most awkward Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just hope this thing gets... Not, <laughs> not that deep. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, you guys. <laughs> I hear that about the gay community, that they're all about the deep story. <laughs> mm. Now me... I, Wink. I'm, I'm, now me, I'm just... <laughs> me, I'm just part of the shallow story, because I, I apparently don't get any kind of relationships. So, I'll yeah. just sit here and go, yes! Uh, quite! Yes! Yes, I understand human emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I once met a hairdresser who was gay too on Grinder, and it turns out he wasn't even gay. <laughs> Why would he be on Grinder? <laughs> yeah, that's Is he that's, trolling or something. That's taking things to the extreme. Because like yeah. I have heard about that stereotype where it's hard for people uh, to get into the industry if they're not gay. Like um, <laughs> certain things, like. Um, really? It's look. It's what I heard. It's what my um, my uh, brother's girlfriend said. She was a uh, pastry chef, and she said that yeah. like certain jobs, uh, just you're more likely to get hired if you're gay just because of the stereotype. And I'm like, oh, wow. it's so, look. If it's wrong, it's just my ignorance. I don't know. I I don't know anything on that. But yeah. I was just like, okay. Uh, I guess it sounds believable. I've heard I've heard of weirder things in my time. Yeah. Huh. Like someone pretending to be gay and being on Grindr? <laughs> I don't... Why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why would you be on Grindr if you're straight? Well, that's, I... that's, that's like if, if, if you're on uh, Tinder, if, if you're looking for a serious relationship. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to hook up? No, I'm just here for cuddling. Blocked. 
<laughs> I just want to find my soul, mate. Oh nine, he didn't. <laughs> oh nine, oh nine, oh nine. No, <laughs> I mean you aren't wrong. I, yeah, we, we know we're not wrong. That's, that's what we're saying. Ow! That will, that will never not be funny to me. The oh yeah, <laughs> or nine, you didn't. <laughs> and I know, I know you don't like it, but I do like Nani the fuck. Because <laughs> it's it Nani just, the fuck is so bad. I love it because it's just it's just covered in ignorance and such. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it wrong to hate <laughs> to like something for being stupid? <laughs> so I like a lot of stupid things, but not but Nani the fuck is just redundant, you know. I know, but if you like Dragon Ball Z more, there's my other favorite thing. <laughs> that kind of shit is um, there's a there's a running joke with the uh, Team Four Star, the uh, guys who kind of like ad lib over. The uh, over Dragon Ball, whenever Goku says yeah. Kaio Ken, the enemy always goes Kaio what, and they get punched in the face. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great cut. They have it perfect. Yeah. No one takes a straight hairdresser seriously, huh? Well, wait. What about like? Okay, this is my ignorance on on hair because I tend to buzz my own head these days. But what about <laughs> like? What about like? Um, barbers, like, where do they fit into the, uh, this odd equation of all this? I don't know, dude. I mean, Ow. the stereotype for barbers around here seem to be they're all Russian with a, uh, um, shop on the inside of their shop that buys gold, but hey, what do I fucking <laughs> know? I'm dead serious. You walk into this one hair shop and you look left, inside their shop is a, a, another desk for buying gold. It's like, huh. Honestly, you guys have a pretty gay chat. Honest. Well, <laughs> does anyone here we feel like we are pretty gay ourselves? So, eh. does anyone here feel what? like coming out what of the are closet? You gay? Oh, up oh, the, the picture on my uh, stream right now on the side, the on the slideshow. <laughs> that character right there is actually uh, cross dressed. I did that for a friend who uh, commissioned me. So there you go. It, it just got slightly more gay. Wait, is it? I guess yeah. it's not technically gay to cross dress because he's not gay, but he likes cross dressing. Know. Whatever. Should. <laughs> Danger, should you go back in the closet? Uh, I don't know. They get pretty packed these days <laughs> with uh, jackets and clothes and shit. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Lou, what? are you the only straight person in chat currently? I don't know, am I? I don't like bringing this up, but I'm asexual, so... Like, there you go. Uh, this <laughs> There's a one straight dude I, I know right now. <laughs> How does it feel to be I mean, in the? I guess I am. There how does go. it feel to be in the minority, bitch? <laughs> For a change, yeah, it's it's a nice change of pace. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Ooh, what the? F yeah, what the fuck's going on, dude? Holy crap! What a plot twist! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's great. Well Lou, I, I hate to I hate to be that guy, but this would make a great comic idea for you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh god. Suddenly in the minority. <laughs> what are you gay? Support cross dressing and gays? I dude, I I could care less what they are. Whatever you wanna be. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. <laughs> Look, as, as long as it, doesn't, as it doesn't harm me, I don't give a flying fuck what you do. I don't care. Do, does it does it uh does it bother me to have uh, another man stroke my hand? Yes, but I'm not gonna sit there and like cr like <laughs> yell at the force be like, no, dude, I'm I'm all right, thank you. No, 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 dude, I'm all right. We need to change Lou to gay now. Do we though? Do we really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to see a gay Lou. <laughs> I don't know, Lou. You, you have a pretty fantastic lisp on here on the rear occasion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now I'm kind of sad that I don't record this. It's okay. I'm recording it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He needs to call himself Lou. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the, <laughs> to gay the gayest stream, stream we ever had. <laughs> 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 oh 
Uh, ow. <laughs> this stream's so... This stream's so gay, I'm having a hard time inking straight. <laughs> what are you, gay? No, I'm asexual, but thank you for uh, asking. <laughs> Thanks for your concern. Oh god, I, I, I read a, a fantastic tweet today. I, I, I was I, I was almost laughing out loud in, in, in the office. Oh yeah? Uh, someone's like, uh, quoted someone go, uh, going, Well, how can you be anti-gun if you, if you never even sh shot a rifle? And he, he responded with, How can you be anti-gay if you never suck a dick? <laughs> he has a point! He has a fantastic point! Uh, a fabulous uh one, even. A fantastic point. A fantastic, meaty, throbbing point. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I saw it on Twitter, yeah. God, if, if I wasn't demonetized already, this this video would be fucking demonetized <laughs> before it was even uploaded. Like, I would hit start uploading and, like, immediately, yeah, like, the, like mm, the no. CEO of mm -hmm. YouTube would just appear on my screen going, I hope you realize that this shit ain't getting paid. <laughs> 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 oh. You know, I can't imagine being a gay Lou. Like chopping wood in the plate, shredding his mustache in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you do know I do own a plate shirt, right? I, I could I could wear that next time if you're into that. Just saying. Well, then then you have to fluff your chest hair and have it sticking awkwardly out of the thing. Oh, also, you have to be mm. you have to be holding boy, a uh, I, boy. Can I deliver? And 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 you have to be holding a uh, paper towel roll of uh, brawny <laughs> next to you, the old one with the mustache. <laughs> New with that fan service, you know me too well, dude. <laughs> we are a couple goats. <laughs> Ship that shit. Ah, oh, boy. Incoming gay fan art of me. I can already. I can see it from here. <laughs> Somebody, on. please do. I need more. <laughs> I want more of gay fan art of me. Ow! Do, <laughs> God well, damn it. Unfortunately for you, Lou, you don't exactly have uh, any references, do you? <clears throat> no, none at all. I don't. I don't have a comic where I keep drawing myself. No. Oh, I, you uh, mean that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one, yeah. You dumb shit. <laughs> I, <laughs> dumb motherfucker. <laughs> again. Again, totally, uh, totally um, supportive of, of, you know, whatever you want to be, but I just don't need to see two <laughs> men laying in bed like that. <laughs> Where which, for me, daddy? Which, which direction are you supposed to swipe on that app that I don't understand because I don't have that, <laughs> I don't have that part of my brain work. It's just, I just, the, the one that says absolutely not, please. <laughs> How about new? <laughs> Welcome to the out of the closet stream. <laughs> you should. We should have stayed in there. <laughs> oh god! It was cozy. Married there was jackets in there. There was jackets and old video games consoles. <laughs> And old baseball cars that nobody even cares about anymore. Oh, shit, I don't even those... know where they came from. I don't even collect those. Oh shit, man, those might be worth money. <laughs> I know, right? They were never worth money. <laughs> never in a, whole... a million years. I just saw a whole article on, uh, not, a, not an article. I saw a YouTube video discussing how uh, the what, what are they called? Beanie Babies. How how like they worked because like they were really popular. The rise and fall. And... Yeah, uh, Guru Larry did it about it. I was like, holy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was this ridiculous. <laughs> like, I don't think Beanie Babies ever were a thing around here. Probably not. I think it was, like, mostly an American thing. I actually saw him in person once. It was Dreamy. Wait, who, wait, who? Uh, the Mary? Beanie creator? Or... Oh, Gur wait, Guru Larry? No. No, I don't know. Are you talking about me? Because I doubt that. Was there... Let's fucking was die already. Bloody hell. Ah, man, my... There we go. Warm. Fuck. Off. I wouldn't need reference. It happens in my dreams over and over again. <laughs> 
Oh, you're flattering me way too much, dude. There's buttering you up, and then there's just lubing you up. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh god, I got the wrong one again! Fucking hell. Are you paying attention to what you're doing, Lou? Somewhat. Ow. Oh, I didn't just do that. Wrong layer! God damn it. <laughs> that oh, never gets old. Laughing too hard at this ridiculous chat. <laughs> it's the best chat we had in months. Who the fuck is calling me? Hold on a second, be right back. Again? Lou, I swear. What? You what, mate? Man, this spam caller is fucking desperate. Again? Jesus. We get spam callers who, like, just call up and they immediately start talking as fast and quick as they can, trying to, like, just get- I never get and... spam callers, period. Well, you don't have a house phone anymore, do you? No. Why would I? Well, we do. For reasons that, you know... You <laughs> for know. reasons unknown. Well, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Oh my god. Who needs lube when they're spit? <laughs> <laughs> Near a station where hobos lied? What? What are you on about? Also, I'm not trying to be rude, I just got a genuinely shit uh, memory when it comes to that stuff, so... Sorry? <laughs> There we go. Are you doing your level one run? No, right no, 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 no. Oh my god. Fuck that boss on level one. What'd you do? Give up on your level one thing or? No. I just paused it. You say that, but. I I'm really still leveling up my uh, dark slash miracle build. Fair enough. Ow. Oh, toothpaste. That sounds awful. That's got abrasive in it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ow. It's a fetish? Oh, shit, dude. I'm just gonna sit well, here Well, it's certainly not a fetish that I have, so there you go. I'm just gonna sit here and be eternally confused at any of this, because I just don't understand it at all. Ah, oh, the, the real that irony. The, the real irony being that so many people come to me to talk to me about uh, relationship problems. I'm just sitting there, like, in my brain with, like, a dial tone sure. just going, like, I don't, I don't, um, like, how do I reply to this person? It's fine when we met that I was still female was before my surgery? Wait, now I'm confused. I mean, not negatively confused, but... Really? If I could have a name, that would really, really help. I'm just saying. Sometimes it makes me want to cry myself to sleep. <laughs> right. You walk to your place to get near the hobo center? They have hobo centers? I don't understand what that means. Yeah, that, that, that was in my... That was at my old place. Oh, that hobo center, alright. I had a lot of people over back then, so that was really not helping. Also, the fact that you're apparently not talking Austrian... Speaking Austrian? I don't know. Oh well. Geo hasn't said anything yet. Figures. Right, let's go level up then. I <laughs> just the troll don't mind me. I'm confused because because you were you're spot on about the hobo center. That, that, that was actually a thing. <laughs> 
I've that's never why, heard of that's why I'm that. so confused. I've I'm never like, heard of anything like that, so hearing that, I was just like, this has to be something I just don't get. Yeah. What happened to Roly? Did you just carry him away with his wife for explanations? No, he's just not feeling all too well today, so he's taking a break. He he had a he had a prediction on how gay this stream was gonna be. It just said, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Screw it, <this. I'm> out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's ju he's just not too feeling too well. I may or may not be a troll. Well, great, that is fantastic. <laughs> Look, here's the thing: I don't care about trolls at all. <laughs> it's just. You can't troll me! That's impossible! That is straight up impossible. I can troll you, I can hide under your bridge and just be like, Pay a toll, bastard! And you'd be like, <laughs> No! I don't want to pay a toll! Who goes there? Me! You, you would make a great troll, by the way. I mean, you're short, you're stumpy. I'm not green, though! <laughs> Yet? You look like God knows you live close to one. Ah, all right. I just <laughs> had to. I just had to. I just had to read that once. That uncapped mustache. Come on, dude. I'm trying to grow it out. It's fine. <laughs> Makes me cry. The case of that. <laughs> This is the weirdest stream. Is it but though? Weird to me best. Yes. Yes, it is. Very much so. <laughs> Feeling when even women have more mustache than I have. <laughs> ah, great. Right, what next? I remember when my uh, Asian friend was trying to grow out his mustache and he had the <laughs> stereotype. Stereotypical problem of just having no, like, body hair at all. <laughs> so, like, he, he tried for a long time. I think he finally got one, like, when he was, like, 25. Mm -hmm. But, like, he hated me because I'm a hairy bastard. I'm like, dude, I would trade places in a fucking second. Yeah. Alright, uh... Let's invade a couple people. That uh, sounds like an, fun. You're an evil bastard, Lou. I am. They just want to enjoy their the... Dark Souls experience and you're beating them up. Fuck those noobs. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die horribly, though. I believe in you. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, if I don't believe in you, you gotta you have a chat that believes in you. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could <laughs> at least you could do it handsomely then, according to chat. Apparently, yeah. Three salvos. There we go. What is the next time? One. What is the time? It is... 5.26. Okay, I still got time. Yee. Yeah. Regardless of Geo coming over or not, I still have a uh, hard timer. Anybody on tool? Alright, let's wait this one out. Oh, there's not a skeleton. Oh, all right. Spooky, scary skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Fuck off. There we go. Are you ever going to give those uh, PlayStation 1 Dark Souls precursor games a try, or no? I don't know, dude. Too old and janky for you? <sighs> Louis dad in your name who this? <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> Am I a daddy though? Am I really? 
I don't really see myself as a baddie, but I don't know. I guess I gotta leave it to the gay guys with uh, great taste to make that decision. So, you know, great I'm not gonna taste, argue. Great taste, he says. <laughs> ah. Some some semblance of ta of, of taste. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it was appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. This is great. <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still confused, but oh well. A pleasant kind of confused, mind you. They say that's how it starts, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're wearing your mother's Sunday dress. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, they spawn in here. Alright. Time to go. Leo. Oh shit, I've got an invader. Myself. That's just peachy. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure I'm happy with how this is coming out. Hmm. Bloody hell. I'm gonna roll with it. Bloody hell about some sit up, alright? Yeah, I'm just not sure if this is coming out the way I want it to, but it's fine. Yeah. Not every page is going to come out exactly the way you want it. The white cat's still alive? Uh, sadly, no. Unfortunately, it means no way. I care about the feline kind of pussy. <laughs> But no, no, sadly he's he's gone in to meet his maker. He's an ex cat. He has ceased to be. He is no more. Indeed. Well, at least uh hopefully you're treating him with a little bit more respect than the guy who decided to have his cat taxidermy taxidermied into a drone. Oh god, fuck that. <laughs> I I did laugh a little too hard when I saw them, like, my goodness, <laughs> I don't know what you have to do, what do you have the to have- The internet is a strange place. Yeah, it's like, I, look, I get you loved your cat, but, you know, I'm not sure that's how your cat wants to, uh, chase birds. <laughs> 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 dead, <laughs> dead with four gyros and propellers. Oh god, that poor thing. What sick kind of furry porn was that? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there we go, a leap of faith. Nailed it. Goodness gracious, great balls of furry porn fire. <laughs> furry fire. Fiery a furries. A dumpster fire filled with furries. <laughs> furry porn, rather. Furry porn, rather. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying not to be offensive with that. I was just trying to... Uh, damn it. As if. Yeah, I know. I'm just a... I'm just damned to do it. Damned if I do. Damned if I don't. Right. Geo, any kind of word. Ow. Okay, Never I have heard. um. Ow. I have about fifteen minutes. Right. I'm gonna call it quits as well. Pretty soon, as soon as this fucking giant is dead. Actually, I might wrap it up right now so I can just clean up a little bit before he gets here. So it's not like just. You know, streaming around a fucking boiling computer. That's a uh, right. It's a good route to uh, Stinky Town. Uh, all right. I'll so at this point, <laughs> I'm only here to see if he ever gets up to check out the butt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 
now, oh, dude. God. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Or rather, what is right with you, you know? Mm. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. <laughs> Luke, give the most... Not that I have the, uh... Uh... The stream of everything, but you gotta give the most awkward and ham-fisted and retarded wink at the camera. <laughs> uh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I was gonna say it was perfect. Yeah, you didn't even see it, you idiot. I don't need to see it. I know how it went. I know you too well. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, it went wonderfully, okay? Yeah, one, obviously. All right. I'm obviously and wonderfully. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks, everyone, for watching and the interesting, <laughs> hilarious chat. Absolutely guys, interesting and hilarious, yeah. You guys are making my night. <laughs> uh, follow my uh, links above if you want to check out my webcomic <laughs> at terracecomplex.com and uh, check out the streams every Monday and Thursday. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging. Yeah.